Hey Cougar fans, we're here with USF men's basketball junior guard Kibu Johnson who helped lead the Sioux Falls Cougars to a 79-58 win over visiting Wayne State here at the Stewart Center tonight. A couple things on Kibu, he had 16 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists, in 31 minutes of action, and he had one uh, flush uh, midway through the second half. Keeble, we'll talk about uh, the assertiveness this team is starting to show out on the floor. I mean, God is good in, uh, in the way he's kind of brought us together and kind of kept us together throughout the season and has helped us grow, you know, and that's one of the main things right now. Is he's, we're just growing together on and off the court, and, you know, things are starting to come together. Team's pretty confident, right? Oh yeah. Talk about, I mean, game by game, you guys uh, mm -hmm. um, got five in a row now, and 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 you have a rival tomorrow. But we, but even without thinking about what ha lies ahead, these last five, well, actually, since Christmas, just about you guys have been playing pretty good basketball, right? I like, yeah, I agree on that. Uh, We've kind of been the past three weeks. The focus has been on our rebound, our our rebounding opponents. Excuse me. Um, you know, getting stops. You know, making free throws, pushing it in transition, getting easy licks inside out. You know, tag the paint, dish out, tag the paint, finish layups. You know, all the all the all the sweet and little things. You know, add up and kind of make the big picture what it is. Your game, you've started being assertive. I mean, you've had a game with 11 assists. Now you have a game here with 16 points and seven rebounds. Do you just kind of take it as the uh, – kind of describe oh, yeah. your play. Um, you know, coming out, starting the game, I'd say the main focus is just getting the team going and, uh, you know, getting the ball to them when they're, when they're in position and, you know, get, get them rolling, get them going. And, you know, Things, if things aren't going well for me, you know, offensively, say, you know, I, I like to turn things around and focus in then on defense, you know, getting rebounds, whether that's getting stops, steals, you know, whatever it is. Just it's kind of when things kind of get tough, you know, you just kind of gotta gotta look to a different different area, different aspect of the game, and kind of take over that way and just keep the game going. You can't really. You know, while in the, in the low, low points. Well, you know, uh, you you talk about tough and you talk about adjusting. And mm -hmm. while we don't like to look too far back, a year ago, you guys, uh, to this year, you've had mass major improvement, doubling the season win. So this has to be a little bit satisfying to you know start getting those W's up on the on the board, right? Yeah, I mean it's it's uh, it's enjoyable, I'd say, but it. We, we can't be satisfied at this point. You know, we got a, we still got three regular season games, and then one more game guaranteed, and then you know after that is what we make it, and we want to go as far as we can. We want to keep playing until they tell us to stop, you know, until they tell us we can't go anymore. And that's what this program deserves, you know. And I say this is what the younger guys deserves too, and Chris Johnson as well. Thanks, Kibo. Dan Gensler, Sports Information Director at the University of Sioux Falls with USF Head Men's Basketball Coach Chris Johnson, whose team picked up a 79-58 to win over Wayne State. It was a pretty important win for the Cougars. They moved to 16-9. To and They are 11-8 in conference play. And the fifth straight win in league play is a NSIC best for the Cougars uh, since joining back uh, four years ago. Chris... Uh, as we were talking before we got on uh, on video camera here, um, sometimes you, you just got to get down and play defense and play gritty basketball, and that's what the Cougars did tonight, right? Yeah, you know, I, I don't think we were great offensively, but I think Wayne had a lot to do with that. I thought they played really hard, <coughs> excuse me, and guarded us well. Uh, you know, they really pressed up out on our shooters and uh, kind of dared us to, to drive the ball, and that's why Kibu had such a big night. But... I'm really proud of our defensive effort. I mean, to hold a team to 31% from the floor and 11% from the three and out rebound them by, I don't know, 10, 12, 13, something like that. Uh, you know, that, that that's a good, good all around night. And, you know, uh, I, I've been saying this a lot during the streak that we're winning because we're guarding and it doesn't always 
resonate with people because we've been making so many threes and, and really yeah. playing well offensively. But I thought tonight really put a stamp on that. Well, you know, talking about that, I, I, a lot of people may not realize this, but over the last three games, you've given up 58, 62, and 60. It's one of the reasons why you're uh, right at near the top of defensive scoring in the league. And, it, and it's in the numbers. You just continue to play very solid defense. This isn't something new. You've been doing it for most of the year. Yep, we have. You know, uh, i got to give the guys credit for buying in, how important that is. Got to give my assistants credit for, for great scouting reports, you know, and, and us getting the guys trust, what, you know, what we're doing and why we're doing it. And, uh, you know, it's a great thing. That defense will be tested tomorrow night like it hasn't been tested all year, quite honestly. But, uh, um, you know, hopefully that, that we'll take that challenge and see what we can do. Well, if you can rebound, um, that's another key tomorrow night. You're going to have to rebound. You did it tonight again, I think, for the fifth straight game maybe that you've held the rebound edge. Um, while the turnovers was a little bit up, um, you still forced more turnovers than you gave up. So you, you, overall, you had to be pleased with, with how both of those categories worked for Yeah, you. you know, I don't know how many actual live ball turnovers we had. I think we got called for five or six moving screens, you know, oh, and so true. that, you know, take those away. We, we took care of the ball all right, you know, and, and uh, you know, the rebounding thing's huge because Augie's the best rebounding team in the league and, and Casey Schilling's the best rebounder in our league. Right. And we're, so we're going to have a huge... Huge challenge that we couldn't handle last time, quite frankly. They played volleyball with it in the second half and really stretched it out on us. So that'll be a focus. Uh, the guys have already been, you know, we've talked about the, the keys to tomorrow already. Uh, we'll get back at it in the morning, watch some film, go through shoot around, and, and uh, see what happens tomorrow at 6. Four players in double figures, led by the two Johnsons, Mack and Kivo, both with 16. Kivo also grabbed seven rebounds. Mack had five. Uh, rebounds to go, and then Jordan Stops had 11 and 7, and Daniel Hurd 11 and 5. Um, what's interesting is how your team buys in rebounding as a group. All season long, what's been kind of remarkable is not one time have you had a double figure rebounder, but you've had a lot of times where guys have been between five and nine rebounds. Kind of speaks to where the team chemistry and team buy in is, right? Yeah, we don't have an elite rebounder. You know, we don't have that one guy who's just, you know, out of his area all the time, long arms, athletic, and just goes and gets them. We don't have that kind of guy. Um, and I don't even think we have a guy averaging five boards a game anymore. Right. But we've got probably six or seven guys averaging four and a half. And uh, so we, we have to team rebound. Uh, we're not the biggest team. We're not the most physical team. But, um, you know, they, they understand how important that, that, that aspect of the game is. You're never satisfied, but getting to 16 wins, you told me before this week began that, you know, you wanted to get the first one because that that's the important one. And every week it's always the first one because then you build on it, you go through scout and all that. Mm -hmm. So uh, how are you feeling about your team to this point in the season? Just not counting, we're not looking at the rival game tomorrow, yep. just right now. Well, I mean, we're 16-9 we're and nine and we've lost four games by I think it's three or four points or less in the league. So you want to look at it and go, man, what could have been? What could we be at? But the reality is, is, is we've gotten better and better. And we're a better team than we were at the beginning of the year. And that's all you ask for as a coach is that you're playing your best basketball at the end of the year. That guys are continuing to improve and there's no plateaus. Uh, so I'm proud of that. I'm proud that we've won the most games we have in, in this league, you know, and, you know as, uh, as an overall record. Uh, to, to bounce back from what a lot of these guys went through last year, that's no small accomplishment. Uh, but I don't want them to – we're not satisfied, you know, like this isn't, we'll look back on the year when in March over. and April and all that and then, you know, maybe have a smile and all that kind of stuff. But right now it's, it's in the moment. We've got the best team in the country coming in tomorrow. We got to find a way uh, to, to turn that into a, a, a dogfight that we have a chance to win. You've been also talking about grabbing momentum and mm -hmm. telling your guys to sustain it. Mm -hmm. That's what's going to be key even going in tomorrow, right? Yeah, you know, we, we have, and you're in the locker room, some, so you know, I mean, it's really hard to build momentum in this league. And, uh, you know, I think we have five wins in a row, and I think Winona now has six, and those are the two biggest winning streaks now. I mean, it's hard, and when you have it, you got to fight. Like, you know what, to hold on to it and to keep building on it. And I'm proud of our guys. We've, we've had different challenges every night during this six out of seven streak, and, and we've, we've bounced back from a tough loss uh, where we got scored on with seven, eight seconds left. 
Um, we've had games where we've shot it great and everything clicked. We've had grinders. We've had you name it. And so they've, they've answered the bell every time, and I'm proud of them for that. Well, congratulations on the win tonight, and it's a big game tomorrow. Good luck. We'll uh, talk about this tomorrow night, and hopefully uh, the momentum will continue. Thanks a lot.